Hi, it's Kathy and I'm back with another uh, card to share with you. Uh, I'm loving this stamp set called So Hoppy For You uh, that's in the uh, 2019 Celebration Catalog. You can get this stamp set uh, if you purchase $50 in product from any current catalog. You can select this item for free. I just love it. Here it is, it's got these adorable little frogs. Um, and then we're also using here for the sentiment, the incredible Like You stamp set. And I just I just love these uh, fonts that they've used on this. I think they're just really pop. Um, we're also gonna be using three sets of dies. The dies that we'll be using are the Flourish dies. And the die that we're going to be using from the florist dies is this uh, border here. And then from the bottles and bubbles um, dies, you'll be using these two little frames. And then from the stained glass uh, dies, you'll be using this die here, okay? Um, so, let me show you the trick of this card. This little uh, piece here pulls out, and this one's been kind of abused. He's been through a class, so um, he's a little out of adjustment. But this slides out, and your cute little frog can, can pedal across your uh, card. Isn't that cute? So let's get started, and I'll show you how to make this card. So the first thing is uh, your for cardstock you're going to need a piece of five and a half by eight and a half in blueberry bushel. You're going to need a piece of call me clover in four by five and a quarter, and a piece of whisper white in four by five and a quarter. You're going to need a piece of watercolor paper, and this measures three and three quarters by five inches. And then one and a quarter inch up from the bottom, you're gonna place a slice in it. See that slice there? And I stopped about a half inch in from either side for uh, our little, the movement of our little uh, frog. You're going to need a piece of blueberry bushel that uh, measures uh, five and a quarter inches long by one and a half inches wide and you're going to put the double-sided adhesive on the back and then cut out um, with the die this piece and so what you'll end up with um, once you get all these pieces out and we'll just pull it off when we're ready to attach it and have these pieces kind of disappear on us um, you're going to end up with this um, this piece to attach and you're going to be attaching it to just like this a piece of the lovely lipstick foil which is also a celebration item which measures five inches by one and a quarter inches and so all I did was took this um, double-sided adhesive off the back of this and then placed it right down onto that piece and then used my bone folder to press it down so isn't that really pretty? Um, so now we've got you up in order to make this card to $100 in product you need uh, in order to get not only these foils, but also that stamp set. And you'll definitely want both. These uh, foils are gorgeous. You're gonna want a piece of Call Me Clover that uh, measures five and a quarter inches by five eighths of an inch. A piece of blueberry bushel that measures, um, let's see, he measures four and a quarter inches by three quarters inches. I have my notes over here, but they've gotten out of order. Um, this is the Grapefruit Grove foil. I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera, but it, it's holographic and it's just, just beautiful. I love this one. I, I didn't think in the catalog much about it and um, it certainly does not do it justice. Once you see it, it's it's really pretty. And this piece was originally five inches by five eighths and 
the uh, die is the one from the Flourish um, die set, that little border. So we're going to cut that out. You're going to need a piece of the 8th inch gross grain ribbon, and this is 6 inches. It's maybe a little bit hard to see, but this is a little window sheet. Let's see if I maybe with the dark you'll see it better. It's a little piece of window sheet. It measures three and a quarter inches by a quarter inch. You're going to need a couple of scrap pieces of um, Whisper White and Blueberry Bushel that you can cut these two little dies out of. Um, I recommend that you stamp the hoppy for you, and this is in Blueberry Bushel ink, uh, before you um, cut them out. And I've already done this because otherwise this video would be so long because the assembly of this is going to take us long enough. Um, a couple of rhinestones, and these have been colored with the dark uh, Call Me Clover um, blends markers. And then finally, I cut this um, little guy, stamped him, and cut him out using my scanning cut. Um, you can fussy cut him. Another uh, little trick. I have um, another card that I'm doing for a workshop next weekend that um, I wanted this frog but without the bicycle or tricycle, unicycle, the unicycle. Um, and there's enough of a gap between there that I ended up cutting this apart. And so now it is in two pieces, but I kept those pieces easy enough that I can tell exactly where it places together and I can make it be one stamp again or I can just stamp him without worrying about the unicycle. I don't do this with all of my stamps but my celebration ones I, I do because they're free. So I don't feel so bad about cutting them in. But that's a tip for you is you can do that. Okay, so our little frog we need to color him and I've colored him in the light and dark Call Me Clover and the unicycle I colored in the light and dark um, Smoky Slate. And then on the inside of the card, the stamping is, and I've gone ahead and done the stamping here, this little frog in Memento and the little bees in Memento. Um, and then incredibly proud of you from that incredible like you stamp set is in the blueberry bushel. And so we're going to color these as well. Um, and the only other color I don't have out here uh, for the little bees is the dark daffodil delight. And so we'll use that uh, to color. Um, so on these two frogs, I just used the light one for their bellies. this little guy's spots. Okay. Then for the little bees, they are in yellow. And then the unicycle, I uh, colored it in the light. and then did the tire in the dark. There is not a big difference between these two, so if you don't want to uh, do two different colors, there really is not a lot. And maybe I'll do his seat in the dark and then this portion of the chain in the dark. Maybe get a little bit of variation. And then finally we need to do these little frogs and I found that the the fine point and works really well for their legs. Another thing I like about the blends is they really don't show the streaking that the other markers can. 
they blend really well. So then we'll go over and color this little guy here. And then I didn't think that his mouth should be white, white like that. So what I ended up doing was I actually colored it with the lighter of the greens. And let me see if I can get rid of some of that darker green this way. Because I figured his mouth's probably close to his same color. And then I came back with, oh, let's see, a little bit of the ivory and colored in as well. And it kind of gave it a brown tinge to it. And so I think that looks a little bit more like what a the inside of a frog's mouth would be. So, um, then the final thing I did on these is I got out my fine tip glue pen and took and did the bees. Just kind of put glue on them. It's kind of like the old uh, diamond glaze or crystal effects and did their eyes in it and made them kind of a little bit buggy and this little guy too and then set them aside to dry It'll take a little bit of time, so we'll assemble other parts of the card while we're waiting on him to dry. Now, again, make sure that you get this uh, pin in the right spot to uh, your fine tip glue pen. And then set these guys off to the side. Okay. So on your watercolor piece, let me grab my box. If you're ever wondering, what do I do with my paper, old paper pumpkin boxes? Well, this is one of the things that I do with mine. It's a great spot for working with your brush -o. So I'm gonna take my, whisk, uh, my watercolor piece and it's gonna go in my box and we're gonna get my brush out. So there's two ways to go about this and one is to put powder down and then spritz. The other is to spritz and then put powder down. Um, depending upon the look you want, they will be different. This is spritz first and then powder. So it's you can see it's a much more watercolory look because there's more water that went down. This is powder first, then spritzing. And I kind of like this look better. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put my powder down. And I only really need to do it above where uh, that cut line is. So I'm not really worrying about below that. And then I'm gonna start to spritz. And I've got this um, skewer here to kind of hold it down and so it won't fold up so much. And I just keep spritzing it until I like the look of it. And I think if I give it too much more than that, it's gonna start to run and pool a lot more. And I kind of like that. I think that's gonna end up really pretty. So I'm gonna set that to the side and let it dry. And in the interim, we'll use one of these other ones to assemble the card, and then I'll show you what that one ends up looking like. So we'll go ahead and use this one. Okay, so, oh, we've got one piece missing from what I showed you, you need, we need. We need one more of these cut out using the... Um, 
the lovely lipstick foil for this piece here. So that's gonna need to measure again, just the same as this blueberry bushel. So let me get that real quick. I think I've got another kit here that I can get it out of. Here we go, all cut. So this one actually measures uh, four inches. And, and this um, should have, yep, adhesive already on the back. And I'll place that down here and use my bone folder. And one more thing I need to grab is my eighth inch hole punch. We're just gonna punch a little hole in the end of that there, just like that. Take my ribbon and feed it through. Put those ends together there. Wrap them and put a knot in them down here at the end. So you've got a nice little pull tab going. And then we've got this piece all made up and that can actually now be attached to the front of our watercolor piece. Oops. And we're going to take our window sheet little strip and um, some double-sided tape and I'm going to cut just a little um, maybe half inch piece and I'm going to place it right here at the end Just like that and pull that off and I'm going to place this here like that. Now you want to make sure that none of that adhesive sticks out the ends so if it does you want to make sure that that you get rid of that either with your adhesive remover or whatever because you don't want it to stick and grab so just kind of make sure that that's gone from there and this is going to slide up inside that slot just like that okay so now it's out here at the top we can then take our little frog and let's see I doubt his eyes are dry yet so I'm gonna hold him up here and I'm going to put some adhesive on this strip here again. And I think that this is a little bit wider than my strip is. So I'm going to actually trim it a little bit um, and make so that we make sure we don't have any sticking off the edge. So I'm going to trim a little bit off of it. And I'm going to place it on here. And I'm not going all the way to the top just in case my frog is not going that far up. And I want to make sure that that's good and attached. So I'm going to press on it several times. And up. Now my frog can come. And I can decide on where I want him. And I want him about right there. And his body and down this bar will or the the unicycle will hide that strip and then this little bit that's sticking up here I'll go ahead and trim off so you don't see it at all so now I've got a little pull with my frog attached right so this piece can now be attached to the card itself. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put down my Call Me Clover piece to my card itself. like that and then we're ready for this guy now this has to be glued down very carefully and in the right spots and um, I use liquid glue because it um, is much more permanent so I'm gonna come down here to the bottom it'll really grab And I'm going to keep that this thing straight here and I'm going to come over here come all the way up now I want to be careful to not get too close to this where the glue will spread so don't put too thick of um, glue right there and I'm going to glue that all down so I've got glue everywhere except for that expanse and I'm, I'm going to slide this off camera for a second here to grab a hold. So I'm going to hold on to this part here and turn this over and place my card down. Just like that. And if you can take and put something heavy on that, um, and let it dry being pressed down um, you're better off but I'm gonna just go ahead and kind of press it here for a few minutes and as I'm doing that I'll continue to move him around and make sure that he's not getting stuck anywhere and I don't feel him moving at all or, or resisting at all he's moving really easily so I think we're good on our gluing so he's all ready to go so now we need to put our little so happy for you on there so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down to each other and then onto the front of the card and place that right over here And find my little rhinestones. They just ah, oh, here they are. Let me just use my scissors and grab those. Oh. And place them down. So there's the front of our card. So now we're ready to move to the inside of the card. I'm gonna test his eyes. Yeah, they feel good, so I think we're fine to open it up to the inside. So here we go. Um, when I stamped this little frog, I did use this strip as my uh, basis for um, figuring out where to stamp him height wise um, you could glue this down ahead of time so that um, you know exactly where to stamp him and I guess my strip was actually cut too long but the dimension I did give you of five and a quarter is correct so let's just trim this off And then the final thing is to put this Grapefruit Grove uh, piece on there. And and again, if you watched my butterfly video, you'll see that I just use my fingers and kind of touch the adhesive and it pulls all those 
out of there, or most of them. And then I'll place that down here. Like that. Get my bone folder. Press that down. And glue this down to the inside of the card. have days where you're just challenged at getting things on straight. Been like that for about a week. Okay, and there's the inside of your card. So there's a cute little unicycling frog card for you. Hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. I just remembered that uh, I was going to show you that one that we did on camera and how it turned out. And that's how it turned out. Isn't that pretty? So um, I hope uh, you enjoyed making that little frog card with me.